This copyrighted interactive training DVD is designed to help you understand the theory and practice of hotel and resort housekeeping operations. As a Jana King housekeeping representative, you should come to work each day feeling proud of the vital role you play in keeping Jana King's clients' property clean and aesthetic. A guest room must be cleaned and prepared every day after it has been occupied. It takes professional skill to get the job done safely, thoroughly, and with quality results. You'll learn how to perform vital housekeeping tasks when cleaning guest rooms and other important housekeeping roles. This training DVD is divided into separate chapters for each of these roles, including room attendant, house person, laundry attendant, and inspector and supervisor. Some of these job titles may vary at different properties and there may also be differing policies and procedures specific to a particular hotel or resort. Make sure to consult with your supervisor if you're unclear on your assigned duties. It is imperative that all Jana King housekeeping personnel arrive to work on time, dressed in complete uniform that is clean and pressed. A name tag is also a must. Personal grooming should be professional and in good taste. Now, let's get ready to clean. At the start of each day, you'll receive a list of rooms to be cleaned. This room assignment sheet is used to prioritize rooms, which means deciding the order in which you clean. Your supervisor will appoint rooms that need to be cleaned first. In general, plan to clean checkouts first so new guests may check in. Stayover rooms are usually cleaned last, unless the guest has made other arrangements such as an early makeup request. Review your room assignment sheet to determine which rooms are to be cleaned first and develop a plan of attack. A full day's work will generally mean cleaning 16 to 20 rooms depending on customer expectations, linen policy, and guest room furnishings. This may be on one or several floors depending upon property layout and occupancy factor. As rooms are cleaned, the status on your room assignment sheet must be noted the supervisor periodically checks the sheet, inspects the rooms, and releases them to the front desk. Keep the room assignment sheet on the top shelf of your room attendant cart for easy reference. Be sure your room attendant cart has adequate supplies to service the rooms on your room assignment sheet without having to repeat trips to the supply room. The cart holds everything you need to clean. The shelves hold linen, on top is space for amenities and guest room bathroom and cleaning supplies. Review the room attendant cart diagram in your Jana King Hotel Resort Manual and your Startup Manual. Some properties recommend the use of a double bucket. Your double bucket holds such things as a bowl brush or swab, sponges, rags, and cleaners. Cleaners may include your glass cleaner, disinfectant cleaner, all-purpose cleaner, and air freshener. Bottles must be properly labeled and any caution followed before using the products. Don't forget gloves and goggles. They're required by law when using some chemicals and they protect your hands and eyes. It's important that your room attendant cart be fully stocked before proceeding to your assigned work area. Keep your cart neat and orderly throughout the day to help you work smarter, not harder. Entering the guest room properly helps you avoid disturbing guests and respects their privacy. The basic procedure is to knock three times and announce housekeeping after each knock. Be sure to use your hand to knock, not a key or other sharp object that may damage the door. If there is no answer, knock again, open the door slightly, and announce housekeeping once again before entering. Three knocks gives most guests plenty of time to answer. If the room is vacant, prop the door open and proceed to clean. Your room attendant cart should be positioned in front of the door with the cart shelves facing in. This provides security by blocking unauthorized entry to the room and positions cleaning supplies for easy access. If the guest should return, politely ask to see their room key. Tell the guest it's for their safety and security that you must ask. It's hotel policy. If the party does not have a key, 
politely request that they go to the front desk for assistance. Lock the door anytime you leave the area, even for just a quick trip down the hall for supplies. There may be times when the guest does not hear you knock on their door. If the guest is in the bathroom, sleeping, or changing clothes, excuse yourself and immediately exit and return later. If the guest is lounging, ask if now is an appropriate time to clean. If not, ask when would be a good time to return. Note return time and other helpful information on room assignment sheet. If the next room on your assignment sheet displays the Do Not Disturb sign, go to the next room on your sheet and return later. Make sure to note the times you attempted to clean the room. You must attempt to clean a Do Not Disturb room a minimum of three times throughout the day. If the sign is still present near the end of your shift, notify your supervisor. A final security matter. Sometimes guests leave keys or cards in the door. If you see this, Knock on the door. A guest may have simply forgotten the key. If the guest isn't in, place the card in a lockbox or some other place so it won't be stolen from your cart. Cleaning the guest room is a seven-step process. Prepare the room for cleaning. Remove trash and linen and spray the bathroom. Make the bed. Dust and damp wipe. Clean the bathroom. Vacuum. Inspect your work. This step should be performed after each job duty. A final inspection of the entire guest room is then completed by the inspector or supervisor. The key to quality cleaning is to develop a system. The system at each property might be different, just as amenities and decor are different. But your goal of quality cleaning is the same. By following your property's procedures and the information in this DVD, you can develop a system that works best for you. This DVD demonstrates the principles of working in a circular motion and working from top to bottom. Preparing the room for cleaning involves checking the room's condition as you straighten up. Begin by removing any room service food items and place in designated area. As you move through the guest room, turn on all lights. Report or replace burned out bulbs according to your property's procedures. At some properties, the lights stay on until the room is inspected. The inspector will turn the lights off and release the room for occupancy. Note any broken or missing items. If something is broken or missing, report it to your supervisor as soon as possible. Make sure the clock is set to the correct time and make sure the alarm is turned off. If the clock time needs to be adjusted, do so. Also, check the television and remote control by turning the television on and then off. At each window, open the drapes. If there's a rollaway or crib in the room, check the condition and remake the bed. In checkouts, take it to the proper storage room, but leave it set up in a stayover room. Put away any hotel appliances such as irons. They should be drained and damp wiped. The closet should be neat and tidy. Make sure it is stocked with the correct number of property-supplied hangers, luggage stands, and other hotel items. Remove wire hangers and items that do not belong and replace with room laundry bags and valet slips if applicable. In checkout rooms, the closets and drawers should all be opened and checked to ensure no personal guest items are left behind. You should also check under and around the bed for trash and guest items. Some properties will ask you to report these items right away, while the guest may still be on the property. Make sure to follow your property's lost and found procedures. The next step is to remove all trash, dirty linens and towels, and to spray the bathroom. For this step, it is necessary to wear protective rubber gloves. Using a waste paper basket, move through each room in a circular pattern and dispose of any trash. This includes used coffee filters and food items left in refrigerators and microwaves in hotel rooms that provide these appliances. Dirty cups and glasses should be collected for washing and sanitizing. In smoking rooms, ashtrays should also be cleaned. Add water to ashtrays to be sure nothing is burning. 
Then, empty them into the trash and clean them. Empty trash cans into the trash receptacle of your cart. Use the bottom of the trash can to compact trash, not your hands. If your property recycles, be sure to follow procedure. Spray trash cans inside and out with disinfectant spray cleaner and wipe dry. If liners are used at your property, replace them each time you clean a guest room. Be sure to return all trash cans to their proper locations. In the guest bedroom, after removing the trash, you will remove used linen from the bed. Exercise extreme caution when performing this task. Sharp objects like syringes can be hidden in the linens or between the mattress and the box springs. You may also find blood or other body fluids on the linens. That is why it's very important to keep your protective rubber gloves on during these tasks. You will remove the bedspread, pillow, and blanket and place them on a chair or another bed, never on the floor. Return soiled linen to the room attendant cart. This will also include towels collected from the bathroom. When removing dirty linen and trash from the bathroom, you'll wear a different pair of heavy-duty rubber gloves to prevent cross-contamination. Collect loose bathroom trash and place it into the bathroom trash can. This includes all used soaps and shampoos during a checkout. Use a dry tissue to collect hair from vanity, toilet, bathtub, and floor. Finally, you'll spray the bathroom with disinfectant. In stayover rooms, be careful to clear guest items or spray around them. You can then proceed to the next step of making the bed while allowing time for the chemicals to disinfect the bathroom. The next step is to make the bed. Inspect the bed and notify your supervisor if the mattress or bed frame shows damage. Make sure the mattress and foundation are even. Use the correct size and color linens. For example, king versus double or tan versus white. Don't mix different colored linens on the same bed. Position the bottom sheet on the bed so the bottom edge of the sheet is at the bottom edge of the mattress and the sheet hangs evenly on both sides. The sewn seams of the bottom sheet should face down. Make sure the bottom sheet is thoroughly tucked in. Position the top sheet on the bed with sewn side up this time. Position the sheet so the end of the head is even with the top of the mattress and hangs evenly on both sides. Do not miter the top sheet at this time. Position the blanket or duvet on the bed so that it's centered. The blanket or duvet at the head should be about 5 inches down from the end of the top sheet. Fold the duvet cover over the blanket or duvet and tuck in the sides. When folded this way, the sewn side of the top sheet now faces down. At some properties, the duvet cover and the duvet are one item. Miter the bottom corners of the top sheet and the blanket or duvet at the same time. Center the duvet to hang evenly on both sides and to just touch the floor at the foot of the bed. Fold down the top of the duvet or blanket, leaving enough room for the pillows. Put on clean pillowcases. Hold pillows with your hands, not your chin. This keeps you and the pillows clean. Fold the loose ends of the pillowcase back into itself and place on the folded portion of the bedspread. The pillow should rest in such a way as to leave about three inches of the folded bedspread exposed on both sides of the pillow. Flip the duvet and leave five inches for the pillows toward the head of the bed. Some properties may include additional cushions and printed materials, such as the room service menu, to be placed in the proper positions as directed. Some brands have full bedspreads while others are using runners. Check the bedspread for proper positioning on both sides and at the foot. Fold in any loose corners of the bedspread and smooth the surface of the bed. If bedspreads or blankets are torn or stained, 
replace them. Your supervisor will schedule times and personnel to turn mattresses in accordance with instructions printed on the mattress. Finally, inspect the bed to make sure it is smooth and wrinkle-free. While these bed-making procedures are accepted industry standards, some properties may have variations, so be sure to follow hotel policy. Your quality work continues with dusting and damp wiping, working in a systematic pattern around the room, starting at the door. Spray cleaner onto a cleaning cloth instead of directly on the object to be cleaned. This prevents waste and damage to furniture. You'll clean with your dominant hand while you lift items with the other. A top-to-bottom approach saves time because dust falls to items you haven't yet dusted. Dust the TV, top, sides, back, and cord. If it's on a swivel, turn both ways and dust beneath. Dust the screen with the same rag used for mirrors so the surface isn't scratched. Dust the base and the stand or cabinet. Proceed around the room in a circular motion, dusting and wiping all other furniture. Use glass cleaner for seal surface furnishings. Natural wood finishes require furniture polish. Your supervisor will direct you as to what product and procedures to use at your property. On cushioned chairs and sofas, make sure to remove and dust under the cushions. Sleeper sofa linen should be changed and remade during the bed-making procedures. Pay special attention to telephones. Spray disinfectant cleaner into the cloth and thoroughly clean the handset, cord, and base. Listen for a dial tone to make sure it's working. Appliances such as coffee makers, refrigerators, and microwaves should be thoroughly cleaned on checkouts. Even on stayovers, you'll rinse out the coffee maker and restock coffee and condiments. Unplug the coffee maker and clean thoroughly, along with the cups you should have already collected. You'll then need to restock coffee supplies and condiments and arrange the clean coffee cups in a uniform manner as per your property specifications. Finish cleaning the counter area, including any mirrors or framed pictures. Clean the refrigerator inside and out in checkout rooms, disposing of remaining food. Clean the microwave inside and out. Inspect each of these items before proceeding to the next one. Dust all tabletops and legs and then make sure to properly position the property's literature on the desk. A woolen wall duster may be used for high and low dusting. Straighten pictures if needed and dust frames and glass. When dusting lamps, use a dry rag on light bulbs. Bulbs may still be hot and could burst when contacted by a damp cloth. Dust the shades all around and straighten with seams facing back. Then dust the pole and base. In the bedroom, you'll dust both nightstands. One usually has a telephone and the other has the alarm clock. Make sure to dust the headboard and any framed pictures or mirrors above the bed. For checkouts, also, wet wipe the inside of all drawers and leave the drawers open for inspection. At each window, use your woolen duster to dust curtain rods and curtains. Clean smudges from windows. Dust window sills or tracks if you have sliding glass doors. Check to make sure windows and sliding glass doors are securely locked. You'll also need to dust all vents as well as air conditioning and heating units. Make sure controls are still properly set after dusting. You'll then continue with dusting the dresser, TV, and closet. Inspect your work as you go. The next step in the cleaning process is to clean the bathroom. Put back on your heavy-duty gloves so you're protected from germs. You already removed all trash and dirty towels and sprayed disinfectant. 
Now that the chemicals from the disinfectant have had time to act on the surfaces, you can complete scrubbing and wiping these areas, beginning with the tub and shower. Scrub the tub area with a sponge or pre-approved brush. Work from the top down, making sure all areas are thoroughly cleaned. Pay special attention to grout and caulking to prevent mold and mildew. For stayovers, lift the used soap and clean underneath before replacing it. For checkouts, you would have discarded the used soap and other amenities in accordance with your property's policy. Wipe both sides of the shower curtain. Pay special attention to the bottom where mold and mildew may accumulate. Replace the shower curtain if torn or stained or discolored. Don't forget to wipe the overhead shower curtain rod. Complete wiping the tub, paying special attention to cleaning around the drain. Wipe and polish all chrome fixtures. Next, use a brush or bowl swab to scrub the interior of the toilet bowl paying particular attention to the area underneath the rim. Use a cleaning cloth to wipe down the exterior of the bowl. This cloth should only be used for this purpose. Wipe and clean the vanity, sink, and sides, removing water stains and grime from the basin and counter. Use a dry rag to polish the chrome around the drain and faucets. Clean the soap dish and the rest of the counter area. In stayovers, wipe around guest toiletries, or if they are cluttering the area, remove them for cleaning and then neatly rearrange them. Next, clean the mirror with glass cleaner. With glass cleaner, polish the towel rack. You can also spot clean the light switch with the disinfectant cleaner and the hair dryer. Test to make sure the hair dryer works. Restock clean towels, amenities, glasses, and ice bucket liner, as well as facial and toilet tissue in accordance with your hotel policy. Neatly place the clean terry on the towel rack. Remember, do not mix colors. Wipe the toilet roll and replace toilet tissue if necessary. All toilet tissue should be folded in accordance with your hotel policy. Replace and fold the facial tissue. Restock amenities in checkouts and replace or replenish in stayovers. This includes the vanity, sink, and shower areas. A clean folded towel and or bath mat should be placed by the tub in stayovers and checkouts. Spray the floor with disinfectant cleaner. If the floor is grouted, tile scrub with a brush. If vinyl, a cleaning cloth may be used. Pay special attention to corners and behind the toilet and door. Finish by polishing the doorway. Now that the bathroom is completed, inspect your work to make sure everything is clean and free of hair, as this is traditionally a major complaint from guests. Confirm that there is an adequate supply of towels and toilet tissue. The sink and mirror are clean and set with the correct amenities. The shower curtain and tub are properly set and polished. You're now ready to vacuum. At the beginning of your shift, you must check to make sure your vacuum is empty and the belt is in good working order. A partially full bag will lose its ability to do an effective job. As with your other cleaning tasks, you'll vacuum more efficiently and thoroughly with a system. Since you'll start at the far side of the room and vacuum out towards the door, now is a good time to set the thermostat as your property directs and double check that the connecting door is locked. Before vacuuming, use a broom to flick debris away from the baseboards and out from behind large furniture items. This debris is then easily picked up during vacuuming. Check underneath the bed for any trash or personal items left behind from the previous guest. Plug the vacuum into an outlet near the door or in the bathroom. Vacuum from the far side of the room toward the door. 
vacuum all areas of the room. If you see a stain on the carpet, stop. Treat the stain with a carpet spotter and then blot with a clean white cloth. Report spots or stains that cannot be removed to your supervisor. As you continue vacuuming the rest of the guest room, move light furniture to get underneath. Vacuum edges slowly and thoroughly. Be sure to get under drapes, in the closet, and behind the door. As you reach the door of each room, stop and inspect your work. Look the room over as if you were a guest entering the room for the first time. Make sure everything is perfect. Drapes should be set at the correct opening and furniture should be properly arranged. All items should be in the correct position, such as remote controls, telephone directory, stationery, and guest literature. Check to see that a uniform pattern is left in the carpet, showing that it has been thoroughly vacuumed. You can now spray air freshener before vacuuming out the door. Your cleaning activities often leave debris around your room attendant cart area, so vacuum this area. If the entrance to the room is recessed from the hallway, vacuum this area to make hallway vacuuming easier later on. Take a final look around the room to make sure everything is back in place and then shut the door, making sure it locks securely. Wipe any handprints on the doorknob and spot clean all other areas of the door and frame, including the room number. Then check off the room on your room assignment sheet and note the time you finished. Move to the next room as indicated on your room assignment sheet. If a guest room has been properly cleaned, it will stay clean until a guest has occupied that room. Your work will go through a final inspection by your supervisor or inspector. This completes the room attendant module of this DVD. Make sure to watch the introduction and concluding chapters of this DVD. The duties of the house person position may vary according to momentary priorities and the number of rooms occupied. Since this position generally maintains cleanliness of corridors, stairways, public areas, and guest room floors, he or she must keep all areas free of safety hazards and perform tasks in a safe and efficient manner. As a house person, you must keep room attendant service carts stocked throughout the day with clean linen, as well as room supplies and cleaning materials that are needed. On occasion, you may also deliver and pick up items that are available for guest use, such as irons, ironing boards, hair dryers, rollaway beds, cribs, etc. It is the house person's responsibility to empty all trash and dirty linen from service carts. During the last hour of work, all dirty linen and terry must be delivered to the laundry. You must also retrieve dirty towels from pool areas and fitness centers for laundering and restock those areas with clean towels. As pool towels are restocked, this is a good time to tidy the pool area. Likewise in the fitness center, wipe down exercise equipment, taking care not to disturb guests using the facility. In addition to emptying trash from service carts, Keep corridors clear of debris as you walk throughout the property. Empty all ashtrays and trash. Make sure to wipe down all public area trash receptacles and to replace the liners. During the last hour of work, all trash is taken to the dumpster. It's important to designate separate buggies for laundry and for trash. Damp wipe the exterior and interior of elevators. This may include polishing tracks when scheduled. Damp wipe elevator up-down indicators and buttons, as well as light fixtures in the area. Where appropriate, dust and wipe down corridor and stairwell rails, as well as ice and vending machines, fire doors, alarms and extinguishers, air conditioner units, window sills, and blinds. Vacuum corridors and stairwells, being careful to check corners. 
You may heavy vacuum rooms as assigned by your floor supervisor and shampoo corridors, stairwells, public areas, and guest room floors when needed. The lobby and restroom areas must be cleaned once in the a.m. and once in the p.m. shift. When mopping, utilize wet floor signs. Wipe and dust lobby furniture, exercising extreme caution when around guests. While working in the front lobby, you may be asked to police the front entrance. You may be given other periodic tasks depending on the property, including Turn mattresses four times a year. Clean corridor windows and lobby glass as needed. Clean entry doors and guest room doors and spot clean walls. Organize carts and supply room. Sweep, mop, and refinish stairway entrances. Report damage or needed maintenance to supervisor. Check to see that all storerooms and closets are locked. Mix and distribute cleaning chemicals in accordance with established policy. Remember to greet every guest in a friendly manner. This completes the House Person module of this DVD. Make sure to watch the introduction and concluding chapters of this DVD. The laundry attendant provides sufficient clean linen to ensure the timely completion of guest rooms. After sorting soiled linen, dividing terry from bed linen, and using pre-wash cleaner on stains, load the separate types of linen into the washer. Then start the washer following directions on the machine. As each load cycle completes, unload the washer. It's your responsibility to keep the laundry and storage rooms clean and free of safety hazards and perform all your duties in a safe and efficient manner. You must also keep all supplies stocked and organized. Load washed linen into the dryer. The morning shift completely cleans all dryer lint traps before starting the dryers. Lint traps should be emptied every hour and again at the end of the night shift. Run the dryer for 5 to 10 minutes on the cool-down cycle. After drying, send clean terry through folding machines if available or hand-fold terry and linen. Set aside any terry or bed linen with tears, holes, or stains. Place these items in the discard bin for supervisor inspection and approval. Record the count on the daily count sheet. Other duties may include Clean laundry carts and room attendant carts inside and outside. Wash room glasses in the dishwasher. Wash and polish the washers and dryers using approved cleaner. Conduct linen inventory. Take guest requests over the phone and follow up to ensure that all requests have been taken care of. Deliver items yourself if necessary. Your important role as a laundry attendant determines which linen is to be used by the hotel guests. This completes the laundry attendant module of this DVD. Make sure to watch the introduction and concluding chapters of this DVD. Supervisors and inspectors are both responsible for ensuring that all Janneking housekeeping staff are performing duties correctly and completely. This includes public areas, such as corridors and lobbies, where they should always be helpful to hotel guests. Since most guests see lobby areas before anything else, it's imperative that these areas be maintained spotlessly, and the houseperson's work must be inspected thoroughly. Floor inspectors and supervisors inspect individual guest rooms using the Jana King Quality Assurance Program. It's everybody's responsibility to keep the property orderly and clean as you walk throughout the property. Supervisors assist in the generation and assignment of the room attendant assignment sheet for each day. They train and critique the job performances of room attendants, house persons, and laundry attendants. Other duties of a supervisor may include inventory supplies, amenities, and linen. 
Update room status to front desk throughout the day. Inspect guest storage rooms throughout the day to ensure that room amenities and cleaning supplies are stocked. Attend hotel meetings. Generate any requested information or reports. Now let's follow a guest room inspection in full detail. As an inspector or supervisor, you'll first check the thermostat to ensure it's set at the property's specified level and check that the connecting door is locked for security reasons. Move through the room in a circular manner, inspecting each item and checking it off. Check that the phone is clean and working, as well as all clocks and lamps. Ensure that all nightstands are clean. Check underneath the bed and ensure that the bed is properly made. As you move from one area to another, turn off the lights. Make sure all televisions work properly and the remote control is set in the appropriate place. Make sure drapes are set at the correct opening and that windows are clean of smudges. Check dressers and closets to see that they are clean and contain the correct property supplies. Look behind furniture. Note any missing items for replacement and remove any guest items. As you move through the vanity and bathroom, take extra care to ensure that no loose hair or debris remains around drains or in corners. Make sure the bathroom is well stocked with the correct amount of terry and amenities. If the guest room is a suite, you'll check the same items you checked from the bedroom, such as the window, telephone, and TV. Many suites and guest rooms contain areas with additional appliances. Check to make sure all coffee supplies are stocked and that the coffee maker, coffee pot, and cups are all clean. Inspect the refrigerator and microwave if applicable. Make sure these appliances are not smudged or greasy on the outside or inside. If any guest food is remaining, empty it immediately. Confirm that all property literature is properly placed. Note any missing or damaged supplies or literature so they may be replaced. Take one final look at the room, imagining how a guest may feel as they first arrive. Once you've completed your inspection, notify the front desk using the guest room telephone. Turn out any remaining lights and securely close the door, making sure it locks. You can then proceed with inspecting the guest room door and corridor. This completes the supervisor and inspector module of this DVD. Make sure to watch the introduction and concluding chapters of this DVD. You may not meet the guests who stay in the rooms you clean, but they depend on you. A guest room is a home away from home. It's a place where people want to feel comfortable and secure. With practice, you'll develop a professional routine for quality cleaning. You'll create rooms that you, your supervisor, your property, and Janneking can be proud of. Thank you and welcome to Janneking.